Hey guys, today's video is going to be one that I have wanted to do for a while. I feel like I say that in every video, but honestly, I've had a lot of ideas that I just haven't done, <laughs> like videos I've wanted to do, but I just haven't filmed them. And then that's why I disappear for a while. Anyway, here we are doing a full face of Shop Miss A products. And yes, if you watched my life update video, you would know that I said I was gonna slow down on drinking because I get a lot of anxiety the next morning after I drink. So I was just trying to like slow down my anxiety, but you know what? I feel like drinking tonight, so cheers. And honestly, even without drinking, I've been feeling anxiety in the morning. So I think it's just mental illness in it. I bought pretty much everything that I need to do a full face of makeup, including lashes. I bought the tools that I'm gonna put the makeup on with, but I'm super excited. I know a lot of people have done this type of video and honestly, I've never seen a video on Shop Miss A, but I have heard a lot of amazing things about it. And when I went on their website, there's amazing reviews. I'm always a little skeptical of that because like, if you go on ColourPop, everything has five stars and you're like, bitch, relax. Like I love ColourPop, but you're gonna tell me everything got five stars? No. However, the thing that made me feel good about the Shop Miss A website is not everything had five stars. There were some things that had like low ratings. And so I was able to kind of navigate and choose what I thought would be best for me. A lot of the website is sold out. So if you want like their super high rated stuff, a lot of it's sold out. Unfortunately, I don't know when they restock. I'm not really familiar with Shop Miss A. By the way, I'm sorry about the lighting, okay? I got a white background in case you didn't notice. My videos used to be kind of like beige in the background. And I didn't realize that I and the color white. <laughs> I didn't realize that basically I just blend right into the background. Like where does my hand end and where does the background start? So please give me some suggestions down below to what color background I should get because I'm thinking like a coral pink situation. I feel like that may go way better for me. But anyway, okay, I have to stop myself every time. If not, I'll be here talking forever. Next Tuesday, you'll find me right here, still talking. By the way, if you see, I know my nails look disgust. My nails look disgusting all the time. I don't do my nails anymore, but I was painting with my son. So my nails look extra gross and there's like paint underneath my nails. <laughs> I cannot get it together. So to start off, we're gonna prime our eyes. Our eyes, not just mine. I have two eyeshadow primers. I have like a pot cream type of eyeshadow primer and then I have a liquid. I'm gonna try the liquid on one eye and the pot on the other. Why not? I'm gonna take this like big, fluffy one that's a little large but i feel like it'll work by the way most of the things that i'm using in this video are under two dollars shop miss a is extremely inexpensive the brushes for a whole set like all of these brushes are ten dollars but other than that everything pretty much is under two so i'm really curious about this quality but anyway let me try this eyeshadow primer oh feels a little bit like glue <laughs> oh man, I don't think it has much color to it. I'm really used to using like opaque eyeshadow bases because I have a lot of like veins and just stuff that I want to cover up on my eyes. Okay, I don't know about this. It's kind of uh, a little patchy. I'm gonna go over it with the pot primer because I have a feeling this might have some coverage. It definitely has like a tint to it. Although I'm gonna tell you like what's up with these products, if I like them, if I don't like them, they're insanely cheap. I cannot knock it. Like even if it's just not that bad, or if it's like kind of bad, I would still be happy with it. Cause like the price is insane. So I don't want to come off as if I'm like giving a hardcore review for products that are so insanely affordable. But anyway, I just wanted to give that disclaimer cause it would be dumb for me to get on here and be like, I thought the quality would just be way better. No, I expected garbage. I think I'm putting way too much trying to get the coverage that I want, but this one definitely has more coverage. Although it's clinging to the dry spots on my eyes. I will say that much, but whatever. But anyway, like I said, this isn't a review, so. How are you guys? What's going on? Can you guys believe that I've actually been posting consistently? I'm pretty shocked myself, I'm not gonna lie. When I used to have a day off, so I edit a lot for creators. That's pretty much my full-time job most of the time. It's actually been a little slower lately, so I've had more time, but that's what I do most of the time. I'm editing videos pretty much all day, every day. When I did have a day off, I would use that day off to like clean or you know, just pretty much do the things that I didn't get to do when I was working. But I'm actually shocked. <laughs> at the way that I make time to film now. Like even if I had a busy day, even if I worked that day, I'll be like, oh, I can film at night, no big deal. Like I'll just film and then I'll edit it when I can. And I've been able to do that a lot more than I ever thought that I would be able to do that. With my main channel, like if you're here for my main channel, here's the thing, by the way, this eyeshadow primer, a little dry, a little crusty, a little wet. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna set it right now with powder and I'm just gonna use the pressed powder that I got from Shop Miss A. I've had the struggle ever since I got married and had a baby. I've had the struggle of like, who, oh my God. 
Jesus. Had the struggle of like, who am I on that channel anymore? You know what I'm saying? I used to do dating story times and I haven't dated in a hot minute. By the way, this brush, magnificent. So soft. I mean, I knew the second I touched these brushes that they were great, but wow, literally run to Shop Miss A and get these brushes. I always get a lot of questions from beginners on like what brushes are necessary to start with because brushes can get really expensive really quick. And honestly, my answer to that is just the cheapest, best brushes you can get. Experiment with as many brushes and types of brushes as you can to see what you like, but like do it cheaply because I used to fuck with Coastal Scents, BH Cosmetics. I still fuck with Coastal Scents and BH Cosmetics. They have great brushes and they're very inexpensive, something around a dollar, a dollar something for each brush, or I don't know if that's still the case, but that's how it used to be. And through that, I was able to see like which brushes I like the most. Get these. If you're someone who's like, what brushes do I get? Get something like this that has a bunch of different fluffy brushes. And then the other set that I got has pretty much all the other brushes you would need. Seriously, these have really surprised me. But anyway, I'm gonna get into my eye look and then go back into what I was just saying. This is the eyeshadow palette that I got. This is the Amuse eyeshadow palette and it doesn't have a color name. So this is what it looks like. I think it's the only one they have from this brand. Anyway, like I was saying, it's not that I don't wanna post on my main channel anymore, cause I do. I guess I just don't know who I am on that channel anymore. Like when you've done something for so long, usually you're gonna come to a point where you're like, wait a second, what am I doing here? You know what I mean? But even more so when the thing that you used to to do was story times about dating people. And that's not what you do anymore. My whole point in saying all of that was just to say that the reason I've been posting so much on this channel is because like I'm so excited to have ideas to film that don't feel completely foreign to my brain. Like I feel excited and I'm like, I don't know. Do I ever make sense? It's a question we all wanna know. I've actually been wanting to get into more like commentary style stuff on my like main channel, like talking about TikToks and not like deaf noodles where you're like commenting on like drama and stuff because I don't want to get into that territory precisely, even though I love his channel and I watch literally every video he posts. But more like reacting to funny videos, you know, kind of Cody Co style, but not quite. I don't know. I've been thinking about doing that because I need to like find a different niche. Anyway, can you tell my brain runs at 5,000 miles per hour? What am I even talking about? Oh my God. The second I start drinking, back of my knees, swamp. Just dripping. <laughs> I used to go on dates and like drink a lot. And if I was wearing shorts or a skirt or something, rest in peace that chair. I would literally have to get up and simultaneously swipe the chair because of the swamp ass that I would get. Do you guys have swamp ass? What's your deal? Okay, so this is blending a little bit bad. Not gonna lie, looks, um. Very patchy. I'm gonna try to use some of the blush that I got from Shop Miss A that's like this peachy color. And I'm gonna see if I can like blend that out. By the way, I do know what look I wanna go for. I did a video a while back on like a blue winged eyeliner look and Shop Miss A does have a blue eyeliner and I haven't done that in forever. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Oh yeah, that blush definitely helped to blend out that color. I need to get a mini fridge. Oh my God, I just had a revelation. How sick would it be if I didn't have to go downstairs for another Bon Beef. Cause right now, that's what we're looking at. If I had a little mini fridge, even with like seltzer waters while I edit, hello? Revolutionary. By the way, you guys are so wonderful. And I just wanna say that in my life update video, when I was telling you guys that I was going through a really hard time, and then I asked you to share good things that have happened to you in 2020. And I just wanna thank you guys for sharing your good memories. It definitely brought me a lot of happiness and made me feel Really good vibes, so thank you. So many of you guys had babies, congratulations. I myself am going through a little case of baby fever. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm gonna find a cure. Is that cure another baby? <laughs> I don't know. This look is turning out a lot more warm <laughs> than I want it to because I want it to be kind of neutral for the blue, but I guess we're working with what we got. That blush definitely made it more like pinky toned, but what was I expecting? I really am floored by these brushes. Are you kidding me? By the way, all of this stuff came packaged in the smartest packaging I've ever seen. It was completely encased in this bubble wrap contraption that when you pop it with a knife, the whole thing kind of deflates, but everything was so well packaged in there. There's absolutely no way that that could break <laughs> in transit. Like I just could not believe that other brands have not jumped on this. I mean, I know it's plastic packaging, so that's definitely not ideal. So I guess I would rather people not do that, but Wow, it was actually, it was amazing. My God, I have TikTok songs stuck in my head. Must I mention TikTok in every video? Yes. Actually, the reason you're watching this video is because of TikTok, because I was reminded of Shop Miss A through someone who was pretty much doing the same thing I'm doing, which is just buying 
a full face of products, but they made you wait to come back till part two to see it. So honestly, screw that. Part twos on TikToks need to die. There's nothing worse than when you're invested in a story or an event in a TikTok and they tell you to come back for part two. People will really be talking about a story and say some shit like, and then he jiggled the car handles of my door and before I knew it, he was able to unlock it. Come for part two if you want to know the rest. Back in my day, you say the whole damn story at one time. And if you need to split it up into different parts because of time, record them all and release them all at the same time. Mind boggling idea. TikTok, am I right? This eye is so patchy. I can't be sure if it's the eyeshadow primer or if it's the eyeshadow. I mean, I set the eyeshadow primer, so it really shouldn't be the eyeshadow primer that is the reason that this is so patchy. But anyway, I don't know if there's much more that I can do to fix this, so. We're giving up soon. Plus, once you put on shimmery eyeshadow, everything's better. I'm going to try the shimmers in this palette. I did get a loose pigment though, in case these aren't too vibrant. Let's see. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. That's really nice. Whoa, this is more vibrant than some of the high-end palettes that I get. Hello? Wow, I am really shocked. And it definitely has like a wet texture. Like when you touch it, you know, like the Alamad, uh, shimmers and just shimmers that are like really pigmented are usually kind of wet feeling. This is just wonderful. Wow. I'm so pleasantly surprised with that. Okay. I'm going to prime my face. I actually should have done that earlier, but I forgot. This has really good reviews on the site and I did swatch it or touch it or whatever it's called when you try a primer on your hand. And it does feel really nice and hydrating. This is the AOA Studio Aqua Hydrating Face Primer. I'm excited about this. This is the only face primer that I got. My skin is moisturized. Well, first off, a lot of fragrance in there. It smells really good though. It feels like a water gel consistency, you know, like moisturizers that are water gels. It feels really nice, I'm not gonna lie. The fragrance is strong, but I like it. We'll have to see once I put on my foundation, that's when I could always tell if something's actually hydrating or if they're full of shit. Cause when I put on my foundation, my skin does not lie. I'm gonna be using this beauty blender from Shop Miss A and the second I touched this, I knew it was good. Obviously I haven't used it yet, but it is exactly the consistency of like a beauty blender. It feels soft. It feels like it's gonna do a good job and these are only a dollar. So if this works, I'm gonna be shook. Okay, so we have a bit situation with the foundation if you think you're not able to see me now against the white background just wait honey literally where's the foundation where is it this is way too light for my skin or is it because i am like paper i am gonna use a darker one whichever one that is okay this one's actually definitely darker than the other one so i'm gonna go in with 0371 ivory let's see oh god are you seriously gonna be a color match how embarrassing. I think it's a match, guys. Honestly, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. My British accent has really gotten worse over the years because I started doing it on... Oh, the smell of that. It has a faint smell of motor oil. You don't really notice it until you're putting it over your nose. It's got a very, very faint smell of some sort of gasoline, but not overpowering, so that's something. This is blending in really nicely. It's not dewy at all, so it may look a little dry, but I'm sure my setting sprays will, it's super full coverage. I'm sure my setting sprays will fix that. But anyway, as I was saying, very importantly, my British accent has been lost over the years, guys. You wanna know a fun fact? Well, even if you said no, I'm gonna say it anyway. I used to do a British accent all the time. And I used to say that I was from Pregate, London. And I used to go with my brother and one of my good friends like to Disney World. And then we'd only talk in our British accents in Disney World. And we would tell people that asked us where we're from, that we were from Pregate, London. One day I was outside of a bar in Los Angeles and I met British people, real life British people. And I was so drunk <laughs> and so excited. And I was like, oh my God. Are you serious? I'm from Pregate, London. Like, I, I honestly, oh my God, my British accent. It's atrocious, what happened to me? But my accent was way better back then. And I told them basically like, oh my God, I didn't think I would meet someone else from London over here, whatever. And when I told them that I was American, I was like, nah, I'm just kidding. Like I'm from Miami. They were shook. I mean, they were really drunk, but they thought I was actually British. And that's the biggest compliment you can ever receive as an accent faker. But then I started watching a lot of Jimmy, private school girl. That caused me to go way too Australian and now my British accent sucks. It's 
horrible. Why am I saying any of this? Okay, I'm super impressed with the foundation. I don't know if you can tell, it looks great. This is amazing buy this right now. I'm gonna buy like a million of them. I usually use the Real Technique sponge, but this is cheaper than the Real Technique sponge and works just as nice. The foundation is definitely a little heavy and is settling into my fine lines, but it blends it out really nicely. And I think it looks great, especially for being like a $2 foundation. For concealer, I have the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer in two shades, cause again, I wasn't sure. And I think I'm gonna have to mix them cause one's like pretty light and the other's too dark. These come in a little squeezy tube and I definitely put way too much on my hand there, but we'll work with it. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot to put on my eyeliner. I am going to have to not set this concealer and then put on my eyeliner because I always clean up my eyeliner with concealer. But I have to say, so far, this is a really nice concealer. It has decent coverage. It blends out really nicely. It looks a little bit heavy, but nothing crazy. I'm gonna do my eyeliner really quick and I'm gonna use this felt tip liquid liner. It's in a blue color. I'm not sure if you can tell. That's the color. It's not as vibrant as the one that I used in my tutorial, but I think the blue was still show up and I need to concentrate for this part so let's speed this up okay not my best wing liner day We'll say that. I have liner all over. You know what? Actually, let me let me not explain myself. I'm gonna put on lashes anyway, okay? But my jacked up wings are not because of this. This is amazing. I cannot believe that it is a dollar. The color payoff is great, super pigmented. You can see the blue coming through. Like it's not dull or anything like that. A bunch of product comes out when you put on the liner so it's not dry whatsoever. This is insane. I'm gonna get this in every color they have. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the weirdest powder I've ever seen. This is Marutaki, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, rice powder. And this was the only loose powder, I thought it was a loose powder, that they had online available. Their loose powders have really good reviews, but they're all sold out. But this is it. <laughs> I think it's literally like, I don't know, some sort of rice flour or something. And it's super, super, super white. I imagine the white cast on this must be pretty intense, but I'm just gonna set my under eyes with this and see what happens. Just gonna put a little bit onto my brush, tap off the excess and let's see. Um, I don't like that. I'm gonna go in with their regular face powder, just a pressed powder. And I'm gonna set the areas of my face that need to be set with that. That powder left this weird white color that would just like cling on to the driest parts of my under eye. So that was not very flattering. I'm gonna set my powder before I do the rest of my face with my Rare Beauty setting mist. I cannot actually believe that my face makeup is like $3. I have a Dollar Tree makeup video planned and I've tried a lot of makeup from the Dollar Tree over the years and I know a lot of it's not very good. Like you can find a few things that work really well, but a lot of it, the majority of it is for me at least not gonna work amazingly. And you don't really expect that, it's a dollar. So you're like, oh, whatever, I'll just try it out, see if it works. But with this, almost everything is working beautifully. Even though it's sinking into some of my forehead lines, it looks so good. I'm gonna do my mascara before I put on my lashes. And I'm gonna be using something that I'm super excited about because I usually prime my lashes before my mascara. I used to not like it so much, but I have grown to really love the eyelash primer from Marc Jacobs. However, it's super expensive. And Shop Miss A has an eyelash primer. So I'm gonna try that before I put on their mascara. Let's see if this works. Okay, I'm gonna have to hard pass on those. Actually, I'm gonna try this on its own without this mascara. It might be this mascara that's messing it up, but I have like 
three eyelashes. Like all of my lashes just separated into three different clumps. It does not look super good. Either way, we're gonna put on lashes, so it doesn't really matter. These are the AOA Studio Lashes in Alexis. This reminds me so much of the Demi Wispies from Ardell. It's actually pretty much identical. So when I saw that online, I knew that I would probably like these because I really like the Demi Wispies. And I also have the AOA Super Strip Lash Adhesive. I needed new lash glue anyway, and this is in the same kind of packaging as the Duo Lash Glue that I use. So I'm excited to try this. And I'm gonna do my lashes off camera as well as my brows and my bronzer because all of those products that I wanted to try from Shop Missy were sold out. And I just don't feel like it's that interesting to watch someone put on lashes. So I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. All right, so I have some thoughts. Number one, this concealer is like super glue. I had some issues blending my bronzer, but not only just my bronzer, my eyebrows. Like normally I, you know, conceal around my eyebrows and I had a lot of issues with that because concealer was around my eyebrows. This concealer is honestly like glue. Like it has a glue consistency and once it dries, you cannot do anything on top of that concealer. So I'm not sure that I like it as much as I did a minute ago because I just feel like I need a concealer that's a little bit more forgiving and this one's like, once it's in place, do not put anything on top of it. The foundation sets completely. On my hand, it's super dry. So if I had waited a little longer, I think I could have gotten away with not setting it at all. However, bronzer went over it okay not great. And I did notice that when I was putting some bronzer on my nose, it wiped off almost all of the foundation and I had to go over with powder. I feel like the lashes look really different. I don't know if that was my placement or what. I am going to put on my blush and I'm gonna use the same blush that I used for the transition shape for my eyes. And I'm just gonna use the same powder brush that I used. And I don't really have another option from the brushes that I bought, so let's see. Wow. That's beautiful. It's a matte blush, but I feel like it blends really nicely and it's a pretty color. Yeah, I definitely like this blush. I am definitely gonna be using this beyond today. I should have known because it helped me blend out my eyeshadow so much that it would look great on my face, but anyway. For highlight, I genuinely have no brush that looks like I can do highlight with. So I'm gonna just stick to my regular highlight brush, but I do have two highlights to try. I have their Velour highlighter and then their pressed powder highlight. The Velour one feels like a super shock shadow highlight. So I'm not sure if I should put that on with my fingers, but I don't want to. So <laughs> I'm gonna put it on with the brush. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty, a little chunky if you were to look up close. I did use this color on my inner corners and I really liked how it looked in my inner corners. Now I'm gonna go into the powder highlight. Oh yeah, I like that one a lot better. It's super pearly and reflective, but it blends a lot better than the other one. So I'm gonna, say that this one's the winner. I didn't actually finish off my eyes. I started to put on lower eye mascara, but then I realized that I have blue mascara that I wanted to try. I know it may look weird if I put this on my bottom lashes, but I really wanna see if this works because colored mascaras are a hit or miss. So, ooh, it looks super vibrant. It's all bent. Actually, I like that for my under eyes. Let's see if this works. That did work, can you tell? Oh shit, you can't tell. <laughs> I have no idea how this would perform on your top lashes, you know, like if it would give you volume or anything, but you can definitely see the blue. It's not the most vibrant blue mascara I've ever used, but can you, can you tell? I feel like on camera you can't tell, but in person you can. All right, it is time to finish with our last two products and that's our lip products. For lips, it was a really complicated situation, okay? Almost everything was sold out. And so I got their like worst reviewed <laughs> lipstick along with glitter gloss, which should be interesting, but I don't have a lip liner. So I'm just gonna smack this on my lips and see what happens. Let's, uh... oh. Not the color I was hoping for. Online, I feel like it looked a little more nude. The sensation that I get using this lipstick is like definitely little kids makeup type vibe. And not for the pigmentation, it actually went on like pretty pigmented, but it feels like it has that film over it that like kids makeup has. Let's apply the gloss. I'm scared that this is gonna be like super glittery or maybe the glitters won't show up at all actually. Let's see. Yep, 
You don't see a single glitter. They look so chunky in the actual packaging and you do not see one glitter on your lips. But actually I'm not mad at that lip combo for this look. Like I feel like the blue and the kind of orangey peachy kind of works. Okay, I have to say I am so pleasantly surprised with most of the stuff that I tried here today. I'm not gonna go into like which products I recommend because you already saw the video. Hopefully you didn't just skip to this part. Overall, for the price that you are paying, I mean, I got all of this makeup for $45. Honestly, you cannot beat the price. Let me know if you guys have tried Shop Miss A. I'm sure you have. I'm late to everything. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I honestly hope you check out Shop Miss A. If you are balling on a budget or even if you are not, there are so many good things on that site and for the price, it's worth a try. This is obviously not sponsored, but wow, I'm just, I'm in love. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye. Time to get anxiety tomorrow. Yay.